Oops. So in here? Somewhere? Hello? <laughs> Wait, what? Read. And where I was in the dense rains of the dire rainforest, I heard the scream of helpless woman before I saw it approach, the beast I had been chasing all along. It was none other than the notorious Gorgon ape. Oh, there's five. At the monster, as the monster approached, I took out my slingshot with hand and my crossbow with my other rippling arm. Shot it right in the eye, but also in the gut. Its blood ran through the forest, farming, forming a deep scarlet river of blood. Ooh, it's getting dark. I like it. After the beast was down, I ran to the source of the scream. It was a beautiful huntress, bond and gogged by the Gorgon ape. Uh, her shirt was very wet since it was raining, and she was breathing heavily since she was tied up. Okay, got it. It's getting kinky. Once I freed the woman, she told me her name was Talon, and that she too had been chasing the beast for over 40 days, and then got captured, and that the beast tied her up and threw her in its lair, only I was triumphant. Apparently. Thank you for the follow. Apparently this is like a very smart beast. After I freed the huntress, she invited me to share a meal with her and stay the night at her tent. I accepted, but I didn't get a wink of sleep. Oh, it's Sifu. Get Whatever ready for a big adventure. Is. Great to see you. I read your book. And what do you think? I'd stick to blacksmithing. That seems kind of rude, though. Could use some work. It's awesome. I don't know. I, I, I could use some work. Uh, Hermph, you clearly have no taste. I'm taking this thing to Kaleri. She knows about books. I am so sorry. <laughs> Heard Kaleri has been complaining about me working late into the night. So I've decided to do the mature thing and work louder later <laughs> into the night. Stop by anytime. Okay. There you go. Ooh, this will help me build the supports for the dig site. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. What makes a good book? Personally, I like if I learn something from reading, whether it's a new theory or just a new point of view. I just love how books can expand my view of the world we live in. So far, I've cataloged over 100 books from the old library. Unfortunately, only a few are in good enough condition to be translated. That's right, I was supposed to see what the old library was. Is that here? I don't remember being able to get in here before. Uh, I don't know, bad memory. No, so this must be the old library. These look like books. <laughs> I'm assuming they're books. I don't know if there's really anything in here that I need though, but... Guess we're gonna find out together. Whoops. Oh. Okay, if you're reading this note, it means either I'm out getting supplies or I didn't make it. Dun dun dun. You're probably also wondering why all the red tape was just to get into the old university library. Well, my friends and I needed a place we could be safe from those things outside. We didn't know a lot about the shadow creatures, but figured they'd be pretty bad at solving riddles. So we decided to use everything we learned from our rune crafting classes to try locking the door so that humans could find us. But those things couldn't. Hopefully it was, wasn't overkill, but the fact that you're here means at least some people were able to get in with the keys we left around campus. Hope to see you soon. If not, I hope this place is safe for you than it was for us. That's kind of creepy. That was it. Oh, there's another area. Oh, there's lots of areas. Okay. It's down here, though. No? It's through here. Oh, 
There's another book. Once upon a time, there was a bright little girl named Raina. Raina loved to dance and dreamed of one day dancing among the stars, but sadly the stars were too far away, and Raina was too little. She asked her mother, the village shoemaker, Mother, how can I dance with the stars? They are far away, and I am far too little. Mother told Raina, to dance among the stars, you must make the bright shoot. Nope, that's not, no. Among the stars, you must make the right shoes. But how could I make such shoes? You must make them with flow, her mother replied with a smile. Unfortunately, the moons were jealous of Raina. Look at that girl dancing. If all the people watch that girl dancing all night, they will never look at me again, said Ignis. So the jealous moon took the girl's silver shoes and she fell and fell until she wound up where she is today, as a cluster of constantly dancing stars. That, I don't like that story. That's fucked, that's fucked up. <laughs> girl didn't deserve that fate. Anything up here? Just bushes? Okay. We, whoops, who cares nothing over here, right? That was a book I already read, right? I don't even remember. Yeah, it is. All right. If Jan keeps mentioning it, mentioning it, I might as well get it over with. There we go. Just the person I was hoping to see. Look at you, not letting all those centers of being wherever you were keep you from enjoying your new life. Talk later. I didn't know I had so many quests. My bad. Finally, <laughs> Good to nice see you. To talk to. I fished up Go. this boot. Oh goodness. Are my eyes deceiving me or is that my precious founder's boot? And here I was, thinking I was lost forever. Bye. You said you finished this out fished this out of the water? How in the world did it end up there? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hmm, yeah, it says a rather curious situation indeed. Mm. The last time I saw this boot, I was carrying it in my own two hands. It was right after Shane person personally gifted it to me. Apparently, it's quite the lucky charm. I can always use a bit more luck. Mm. Where was I again? Oh, yes. I was taking my lucky boot for an evening stroll around the village and stopped to rest in the avenue behind the inn. As I was polishing the boot with my sleeve, I remember hearing Ani and Hasian playing cards together and familiar voices and laughter coming from inside. Mm. It gets fuzzy here, so I must have nodded off at this point. What happened next? Oh. Then I was awakened by the familiar sound of Eshi's heels on the pavement. <laughs> He's like, ah! Oh. Uh, click clack clickety clack starting straight towards me <laughs> I scampered off in such a fright that I tripped and rolled down the bank of the river <sighs> somehow I managed to get away before she could see me but I lost my precious boot in the chaos oh Kemley how could you be so careless maybe Eshi is right maybe I am blizzarding buffoon an unlucky one too no you're not yes I am only a foolishly foolish fool would make such a foolishly foolish decision <laughs> Breathe in, breathe out. You can do this, Kenley. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what matters most is that my beloved boot was found safe and sound, and the mystery of its disappearance was solved. It's all thanks to you. How, oh how, can I ever repay you? Uh, I do have a search and rescue fee. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Mm. Of course, here, perhaps this will cover it. Woo! A lucky boot. I was joking. Okay, I missed you so much I'll never take my eyes off of you again. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he looks so happy. Mm. Tell me, do you ever struggle with feeling like a disappointment? <laughs> Sometimes. I know how you feel. My father tells me I was a very scrawny baby who used to cry all the time. I feel like I did nothing but disappoint him since the moment I was born. 
Then he passed, and now I live with Ash. <laughs> My only hope is that I can bring some small amount of joy to the dreary, ordinary lives of the common villagers like you. Goodbye. That's hilarious.